ったねー。This is the Lily Drip.、Um, it's an accessory for your V60 or origami.、Um, anything that is a conical dripper. Okay, so what this does is. Right, so you see this. This specific accessory, you put it at the bottom of your V60, like that. Okay, you put it here at the bottom. And effectively, it negates、um, the concentration of your coffee at the bottom. So instead of having a letter V shaped、um, coffee bed, you are going to have a W shaped coffee bed. Right? Also, by using this, you are going to modify your paper as well. Let me show you so you can understand better. Okay, you have your、um, conical filter, right? When you prepare your paper filter with your lily drip, so you fold it first like this, like the normal way of folding the seams. And then you put it here. Now, what you're gonna do is you take one of the Lily Drip thingies here. <laughs> so, for now, just for now, we're gonna call it Lily Drip thingies. All right.、Um, I've been looking on the internet and they don't have a specific call,、uh, a specific name for this. So for now, we're just gonna call it Lily Drip Cones. Right? So you take one of the Lily Drip Cones, right? And then this, this cover right here. Yeah, so there is a hole right there. So you push your paper against that hole. Okay, watch. You push it against that. Right. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is put your cone here, your lily drip cone there. And since you've already prepared your paper that looks like this, so you have a specific fold there. When you put it here, Then you change the shape of your dripper. Right. Okay, so according to the website, what this does is、um, it increases the level of extraction of your brew. They mentioned in the website、um, that if you are brewing with just a conical paper filter, you are brewing 50%. Right. But when you use a lily drip, that increases to 100%. Where did they get their data? I'm not sure. <laughs> That's what they said in the website. Okay, so in this package, you have four different lily drip cones. So you have this like Christmas tree looking. Like a soft ice cream looking cone. Something like this with the indents, maybe for more water flow. And you have this reverse, like embossed, embossed ribs. Now, this I am definitely sure for more water flow. And then you have a smooth one. Very smooth. Right.、Um, I've, had, I've had the Lily Drip for a very long time now, but I don't know. I haven't, I haven't really maximized 
it. Yeah, I, ha- I haven't really gotten to um, studying them and making experiments. So now I'm going to, we're gonna compare two different brews. Um, one using the Lily Drip and another like the simple, like the normal way of brewing with your V60. Right, so I'm gonna prepare this. We're gonna use this one. Like the embossed ribs. So we have more um, water flow. So for this brew, I want to use something simple. So this is Kapangan Benguet from Primal Brew. It's a simple coffee with um, amazing complexity. Their tasting notes is dalandan, mixed berries, orange peel, and honey. If I'm not mistaken, the last time that I brewed this in Batangas, um, I tasted caramel, brown sugar, caramel and the landan right so it's a fairly fairly simple coffee fairly simple to brew also um, yeah because in comparisons like this I want to do like a simple recipe as well so that we we avoid different variables And for consistency, we're gonna use a Comandante grinder for this. Okay. Let's prepare 13 grams for both. Okay. I'm going to measure 13 grams. Okay, and then we need another 13 grams. Okay, so this one is the one with the lily drip. See it there? Okay, and then this one is going to be the normal V60. Okay, we are using 87 degree water. All right, I'm gonna start with the one with the lily drip. Okay, that's 200. Okay, that's 200 as well. So this one finished at 145. Okay, well the V60 finished the same time. They finished both at the same time, but 
I'm sure that they have a significant difference in them. So in this experiment, we have, we have the same dose of coffee. We use the same exact coffee. We use the same grinder. Both drippers are V60s. Even the water is the same. And the drawdown is also the same. So what's left for us is the difference in the behavior of the water while brewing the coffee. I'll start with the V60 first because I'm more familiar with, the v with how the V60 tastes. We have brown sugar, brown sugar and nuts with the long aftertaste. Now we're gonna try the one with the lily drip. I think it's cleaner. It has more body, but um, it has lower sweetness. Yeah, it's more bright than sweet. This one, the normal V60 is very sweet. It's caramel with sweet nuts. And this one is more bright and less aftertaste. But the brightness and complexity of this cup is amazing. This is wild. Okay. Um, yeah, so their main difference may be, may be the distribution of the water. The behavior of the water is, of course, it's different because you have more surface area with this one because you effectively spread the coffee, coffee grounds more as compared to the typical conical coffee, coffee bed where you have the concentration in the middle right so if you like a more um, more bright more complex coffee you you can you can enjoy the lily drip attachments well if you like a if you like a sweeter more bodied coffee then you just go for the normal v60 <laughs> mind you we only use the two pour method that we normally use for experiments that we do right so yeah, it again all all of this is um again all of this boils down to your personal preference. So if you like it more bright, then the lily drip is a better option for you. But if if you like it more sweet, more bodied, then just go for the normal V60 and the normal conical paper filter. All right? So for now, Thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!